Hey guys, what's up? It's Erica. Welcome back to my channel. As you guys can tell, I'm looking a little rough right now. I just got out of the shower. My face is very red, pretty much as always. Um, but I've been meaning to film this haul for a while, so I want to show it to you guys. So I just wanted to show you some pieces that I got from the Goodwill outlet. I spent like $18.50. Um, I think I've mentioned this in past videos. If you guys have watched those, I used to keep a spreadsheet of everything that I bought. And then I would track where I sold it, how much I sold it for, so I could like make sure I was profiting and stuff. And I just started that again. But I can show you guys what it looks like and then I think it will be cool. Maybe in like six months or a year I can share the spreadsheet with you guys and we can like go through and see what seems to sell and what does well and like where I sell certain things. Um, if that would be interesting to you guys, um, comment down below if that is something you guys would want. The average cost of everything that I got in this haul was $1.32. I went to the Goodwill bins in South San Francisco. Yeah, so let's just get into it. I haven't tried anything on that I'm considering keeping. So the first thing that I got is this knit Oakenfort sweater. It's kind of like a maroony brown color. It's in really great condition um, and Oakenfort is a really expensive brand. I might keep this, but also I feel like I have so much stuff. Well, I used to have a lot of sweaters like this and they're just, they're very cute, but they're just not like my style, I guess. So the next thing are these PacSun men's pants. They're like cargo type. Um, cargo is like so in right now. Um, what are these? Carpenter kind of pants um then I got these striped blue theory pants which theory is a very expensive brand I think I might keep these for myself because I have like no nice work clothes and they're kind of cute I don't know here's a close-up of the pattern let me see what they're made of they're out of wool and a little bit of elastane in the pockets yeah these are like good quality pants um, if I don't end up wanting them, I think they will sell. Then I got this pair of BDG pants. I'm not sure if these are men's. I think they are because they're 32 by 30. And I feel like if they say both waist and length, they're normally men's. Um, but they're this tan color and they have this distressed edge on them. Um, they said they, they say they're a dad fit. I feel like this style has been sold really recently so then I got another pair of jeans these are also men's they're 34 by 30 they say they're a slim fit they're this very light wash jean they do have like a little bit I don't know if this is like grass stains or a little bit of miscoloring or if it's just supposed to look a little faded and a little worn but again, I feel like this this style of pant has been sold really recently. So then I found this Free People dress, which is the only thing I didn't wash because there's a tag on it. It's new with tags. Um, as you can see, it was $128. Um, it's this like maxi dress. I don't know. I need to try to find the stock photo online, but it's cotton, really stretchy. It looks comfortable. Um, I feel like this would not be a flattering dress on me. It's a very, I think it's very boho and it kind of just falls, but there's not a whole lot of shape to it. But I feel like for the right person, this would be a really gorgeous dress. Then I found this color blocked blue sweater, which I am definitely going to keep. Sweaters like this are being sold currently. I love the blue colors in it. Super perfect for springtime. The brand is Van Heusen which I think is more like an old ladies brand and was probably sold like 30 years ago. Then I found this John Galt lavender shirt. Um, John Galt is sold at Brandy Melville and I picked it up because it didn't really look worn. Um, and people, you know, Brandy Melville has like a cult following there. Are lots of people who love it. So it's just a t-shirt, but I think I could sell it if not on Poshmark, then definitely in person at like Plato's or Crossroads. I'm not sure how I feel about this shirt. It is cropped velvet orange, but I don't know why I saw this and I just 
like rid of my bag i felt like i needed it comment if you guys think this is cool or just like completely useless then i found some black lululemon leggings um these are like the cotton type i think they're the wonder under style which i kind of stopped getting unless they are close to new this does have some pilling and some balling but that is not too difficult to get off um a lot of times when you find like the wonder unders at the bins they are completely trash people wore them to the ground but these do not look super worn so they also have this like lime green lining in it which i thought was kind of cute then i found this little romwe um baby tee which i literally just bought some baby tees on etsy it's really cute it's got this cute little teddy bear on it i found this which is a skims bandeau which i thought was really cool because i have never seen skims at the bins or anywhere really um if you don't know it, it's kim kardashian's shapewear line so this is from her collection i did try this on it is super comfortable but it's not like super flattering i don't think i'm gonna keep this for myself i think i'll sell this but i did look online they don't retail for an extreme amount i was thinking they would retail for like 60 dollars but they retail for 28 but still i could sell this for probably 12 dollars on poshmark and someone would be getting a better deal so if you're into depop and this whole y2k style and the grunge and all that you have seen how baby tees have made a huge comeback and like I said, that Romley shirt, and I just bought some Etsy baby tees, um, but then I was at the bins and I was found this shirt, which is, it's actually an Old Navy shirt I saw, and it's a size small. I feel like this might've been a boy's shirt, but it's Tom and Jerry. It's, what is this on it? It is worn, but it's brown and it's long sleeve Tom and Jerry, and I feel like this just screams Depop. I might even keep it for myself. If it doesn't look too tiny on me but i think it's kind of cute and i just feel like this look right now is so popular and then the last thing that i got is this black little tank top thing that to me screams total y2k and kind of gives that like grunge fairy vibe um it's halter you tie it around your neck but like the top gets kind of cinched i feel like this just brings me back to like the early 2000s so i saw this and thought it was perfect and that is everything that i got so like i said i will um put in a screenshot of my spreadsheet that i'm keeping track of all my clothes that i'm selling i'll also link my poshmark and my depop if you want to check my stuff out thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next video